746, a mural festival is underway in Greenville. Artists have been busy on Stone Avenue painting three different murals for the past yeah, week. They have certainly been busy, right? It's yeah. all part of an annual community project to help decorate local buildings. It's 7 News' is Jennifer Martin live at one of the murals right now. And you're also talking about some fifth graders that are also going to be involved, right? Ooh. Oh, yes, it's going to be really exciting. They're coming in a few hours, but right now you can see Eli Blasco is painting some of this mural, getting it ready for the fifth graders to kind of come in and take over. And they're going to be monitoring, of course, what they're doing, kind of teaming them up with some Furman students who uh, are going to be somewhat of mentors. And I'm here with Stephanie Burnett, the co chair of the Stone Mural Project. Tell us a little bit about how this got started. Yes, yeah, so um, Furman um, does a May Master class, and they put together a May Mester class actually to support our stone mural project. Uh -huh. And since then, this is the third year, it's grown that they do some other projects also, but they always come back and help us. So today we're going to have eight to 10 Furman students, mm -hmm. and we're going to match a Stone Academy student. So a 10 year old with a 20 year old, <laughs> it's always really, really sweet. That's really sweet because, uh, you know, it's all about public art, and a lot of those fifth graders are going to be able to talk to the artists because they worked with the artists to come up with a design. And Eli, you were telling me some of what the, those fifth graders came up with and how you guys came up with this design. Yeah, we did a week-long residency with them in January um, and we gave them six themes that the mural could be about and they each sort of came up with their own mural based on one of those themes uh, in smaller groups. Cool, so they're going to be out here in a few hours, but um, one of those things was about dandelions, right? I don't know if you can see, but there are different cycles, right? Yeah, there, there's sort of the whole growth cycle of a dandelion represented. Mm -hmm. And one of the big themes that came up when we met with them in January was growth uh, and sort of uh, moving on to the next stage of life. You know, they're all graduating from fifth grade and going on to do bigger and better things. So cool. uh, and they're really excited about that. So, so these hexagons are part of that cycle, and they also kind of uh, symbolize one of the Stone Academy's uh, uh, their, mascot. their mascot. Yeah, yeah, and the hexagons came up because they are the Stone and stingers, so we thought a lot about uh, hives and bees and things like that. So cool. Yeah. So uh, those fifth graders are coming around 9, 10 o'clock this uh, morning? Yeah, I think they're coming in three waves, uh, <laughs> 9, 30, 10, 30, and noon. So cool. I don't know. I'm ready for them whenever they ready come. Ready so. for them, and the rain is going to hold off, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Definitely. It, All right. Well, live. It's cool out. So. It's nice and cool. Well, live in downtown Greenville, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you. She has to have little waves because there's about 100 of them coming a little bit more.